It's a, a short video about a homemade CNC machine. All started when the landlord where I was staying brought home the insides out of a Canon copier. And uh, from that, I started fiddling around with stepper motors because there was uh, half a dozen of them inside the copier and uh, with Arduino. And we end up making the start of a CNC machine. So this is the software that we use to drive the Arduino that converts the G code, which is down here, into actual movements. And this is the little Arduino board down there. And that goes over into the stepper motors. And there's one on the one axis here that moves the whole bed back and forth like this. And then there's another stepper motor that drives these belts here. And this is the other axis and the stepper motor is hiding in behind there. And the challenge was is to make this whole thing as much as possible out of the parts of the wrecked copier. So we're going to uh, start up the software here. Okay. Uh, we've got a file already loaded in. And I'm just going to hit the start. And there over here, we'll see what happens. And now she's starting to draw out with a ballpoint pen, because I don't have a router mounted on there yet. It's drawing out the part on the cardboard that I cut out of a beer case because I couldn't find any paper. And this is the part that is drawing out. And you can see the position, machine coordinates changing. And there's the G code. And as it moves, going up and down. Oh, my ballpoint pen's running out of ink. But uh, <laughs> you can get the idea. It's drawing it up pretty good. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more tension. So it's doing a very accurate job. Drawing out really good. You can see the little stepper motors there doing their thing. This is the other stepper motor and it actually pulls the bed back and forth. And I've got it on a worm gear, that's why it's running so much faster. So, I think it's a success. I'm not sure if I'll uh, try to put a, a rotor on there or not. Uh, actually at Harbor Freight Tools, they had a sale on uh, a little mini drill, a uh, mini drill for nine dollars, and uh, I just might put another uh, stepper motor on and uh, have a Z axis, an up and down axis as well, and maybe I'll be able to carve something. Who knows? Okay, that's it. There's the whole setup in my landlord's workshop.